This product demo shows how email threat isolation integrates with Symantec Messaging Gateway to eliminate risk when users click on malicious links contained in email used to transmit malware to their endpoints or steal their credentials. Email threat isolation insulates users from malicious links contained in email by redirecting URLs and executing them remotely in a secure virtual environment. Email threat isolation prevents credential phishing and malicious downloads by rendering only display data to users so that they cannot enter their credentials. In the case of a credential theft scam, or if the link points to a malicious file download, then the file will be executed away from the user's endpoint. To illustrate, we will show how the solution works with and without email threat isolation, where an email containing a malicious link is used for credential theft. To begin, a fraudster has created an Office 365 security notification email that looks real and has sent it to the intended end user requesting that they click on a link in order to regain full account access. However, when the user clicks on the link to open a credentials submission web page, you see that the user is prevented from entering any text. This is because the link has been redirected to the email threat isolation server for rendering in read-only mode to the user's display. When we look at the Messaging Gateway message audit log, we see that the email was delivered with the email threat isolation policy enabled, meaning any links within the email message clicked on by the end user are redirected to an email threat isolation server for remote execution. Now, let's take a look at the end user experience when email threat isolation is not configured. The same Office 365 email as before is sent from a fraudster and successfully delivered to the end user requesting that they click on the link within the email in order to regain full account access. But now, there is no restriction preventing the end user to enter their user credentials. And you see in the Messaging Gateway message audit log that the email was delivered normally. The default filter policy was used, and no verdicts were fired.